we're taught to sell critical illness because you got to jump the queue, you, you got to go to the States, you got to get better care immediately. The fact is, if you're, if, if you're unfortunate enough to get sick in Toronto, and if you have to be under the care of Princess Margaret, you're going to get exceptional care and you're going to get it quickly. What they don't tell you about the product, maybe today a little bit more is, but not when I sold it, was that the time off, I'm not here with you guys, I'm taking my kids to school, then I'm going shopping, maybe I'll see one or two clients, then I'm picking up my kids. My income, devastated. Never mentioned Joanne's. My income, devastated. And of course, the cost of going to Princess Margaret every day and parking and eating that crappy food, very expensive. So, you know, there's, there's, it's not the health care, it's, it's the disaster in the wake of that illness that where the money comes in handy. And so, yes, selling to my wife, which is what I did, the only person I actually sold to, was the hardest sale of my life. My only actual, you know, sales pitch. You know, she would balk, oh, you know, those premiums are so expensive and, and, you know, they'll never pay. And, of course, the proverbial, well, it will never happen to me. Uh, we've heard that. But it was both awful and, and necessary to talk about something dreadful happening to someone I love. Uh, but sharing that and what we did to take small, some small degree of control over the unexpected is really what our business is all about. And despite the fact that this is um, a loaded and emotional story to tell, clearly, I do tell the story to anyone who will listen. And again, the rest flows from there. Here's probably the most important thing that I, that I, I mean, if I'm having a coffee or a beer with you, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying to my friends, my peers in the business. You are all super qualified to sell. Yes, we look at strategies to make our business scalable and we want to grow it, and these are all super important things. But what I want to share with you is that you need to look at the life that you're living every day, the experiences you have directly or indirectly. Draw on these experiences. This is the manna. This is, this is the meat on the bones. Feel them and share them. You are more qualified to tell these stories than anybody next to you. They're your stories. And, and then people will accept you, they will believe you, and I think they will make you an integral part of their planning because you've put yourself out there. Um, you've put yourself on the same plane as them. You, you've, you've, you've identified with them. You're not scaring people, folks. You're just sharing life. And this is it. Life happens. Uh, the result that you're looking for, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll follow from there.